Welcome to SJSUSpartans.com as we have our visit with the cross country coach at San Jose State University. 13th year, Ar uh, Augie Argabright, nice to have you with us. Uh, 13 years, one of the uh, one of the senior coaches around here. You getting, re you getting fired up? I know you're excited about this past uh, fall. Yeah, I'm real excited. It doesn't seem like it's been 13 years, but uh, yeah, this last year was our best team ever. And uh, we have most of our runners, all of our runners, except one runner back uh, for next year. What was the what made last year special? Was it uh, more student athletes? Uh, are you changing recruiting tactics? Uh, can they just tell things are happening around the athletic department? No, I think that we uh, we had some really dedicated athletes that put a lot of uh, running in during the summer, and uh, and our high high altitude training camp helps because it's uh, it's a privilege to go to that. So they run a lot during the summer, so they'll be in shape, uh, you know, when we go to camp, and uh, just a real dedicated group, men and women. Mm -hmm. Elaborate on the high altitude training. I think it's kind of neat that you're able to get up uh, above the tree line almost in, in some yeah. cases. Yeah, it's, it's, excuse me, yeah, it's nice to be up there. It's at Bear Valley, which is up by Angel's Camp, and it's, uh, uh, it's at 7,000 uh, feet where we train, and then it, uh, sometimes we go up to 9,000 feet. And it gets them ready, uh, particularly this last year with the WAC being in Boise. Mm -hmm. They give us a real mental uh, advantage over a lot of the teams, except the Idaho teams. Uh, in the meet. Throw some names out. Who was it that ran well for you and enabling you to have your best year? Well, in the, in the women's division, it was uh, Tiffany Hall and Erica Sally. They went, uh, you know, uh, all the meets, they went one, two as far as our team. And then we had a real battle for third between uh, Marlene Elizotti and Heather Laptolo. And, uh, and, and they traded every meet on who was the third runner. So we had a lot of competition just among our team and then also uh, in the men's team, all the races, uh, Mobin Gurry, right. our, who's our team captain, and who ended up uh, making first team all whack. He was our leader uh, in the men's team. I know the athletic department was excited when you came back from St. Louis with that, uh, that beautiful trophy. Tell us about that national cross country only event that you went to. Well, this is something that a, a coach uh, from St. Louis University started uh, about 10 years ago, and it's what it is is just teams that the schools that just have cross country only, and they call it a national championship cross country only invitational meet. It's not really sanctioned by the NC2A, but it's all the teams that have good teams go to the meet. And uh, we've gone three times, we won it twice, and then we finished second uh, one other time. But this, this time, uh, we hadn't gone for three years, and we uh, we took like the first five, five out of the top six places in the meet, and Tiffany Hall uh, won the race. Numbers, you, before we turn the camera on, you mentioned that you've got a lot of runners that are going out. Is it, uh, is it just kind of a, a show of the camaraderie that, that your team has where you've got student athletes that are willing to, to put in some long, hard hours? Because I know that uh, cross country certainly is not easy. Yeah, the numbers that we have, we have like 14 members on our team now. And we have 13, uh, this is the women's team, we have 13 uh, coming back next year. And we've recruited one athlete from Vacaville, and she will, uh, you know, be an impact runner on our team. And then we've had 10 other girls uh, apply, and they've applied to San Jose State, so they give all indication that they're going to be here too. And then at the men's team, we have all of our men back, and we've recruited the, uh, two of the top JC runners in the state. So. So we really think we've got to really have a pretty good men's team next year also. What is the spring like as far as the workouts and the competition? Well, in the spring, because of the NC2A rules, we're only al allowed to practice so many days because we don't have a, a NCAA uh, track program. We, we practiced uh, two days a week in February and three in March and April, and then our season's over. Uh, the first of May, and then we run five competitions. And this this kind of format is not for everyone, but uh, it's for the athletes who are real scholar type athletes who don't want to be obligated to run cross country in the fall, and then indoor track and outdoor track. So I'm uh, I'm really sold on our program. You know uh, that this is the ideal place for the college runner. How much running do they do on their own? I know that it's uh, you know running long distances take so much discipline uh, and a lot of time. How much do they have to do on their own? Well, during the, during the summer months, they, they 
probably run 40 to 70 miles a week, some of them. And it, it, I kind of, uh, it's kind of what, they, what their goals are. Mm -hmm. You know, if they want to be in the back of the pack of our team, they run 20 miles a week. And if they want to be at the top of our team, they'll run 70 yeah. miles a week. They, they can't fool the coach. You know when they show up who's done the running. Yeah, we, we kind of know who's done the work <laughs> uh, during the summer. Excited for the, I guess, the, the fall of 06 is when some of these big numbers games might even pay off more than a successful year last year. Yeah, I think this, uh, now we were third in the WAC, and that was our goal all year long to be in the top three because we knew that uh, Utah State and Boise, or uh, University and of Idaho, Idaho right. had just too powerful a team for us to beat. And, uh, but this year, they've, uh, University of Idaho's lost some of their runners. And we have all of our runners, all of our first five runners back. And so I think that we're, and they're going to get better. And then plus we have all these new recruits. And uh, the competition, the practice makes, every, you know, everybody a little better. The entire athletic department is feeling expectations. Uh, expectations rising for every single sport these days. Uh, you probably enjoy that as a competitor. Yeah, I like that. You know, it, it's really with the new athletic director here, <clears throat> it's, you know, it's made a tremendous change, you know, and I think one of the major changes is the uh, summer school, the, you know, to keep the athletes on campus mm -hmm. and, um, you know, keeping the kids here during the summer. And, and I think that'll help all sports. Okay, have a great fall. Okay, thank you. Getting ready or have a great uh, spring and looking forward to the fall. That's Augie Argabright, the cross-country coach at San Jose State University.